Sal was taking Sly's original ideas, which were pretty bare bones at the time, and turning it into some very spectacular sounding tracks. You know, the whole idea of what he was going for, that he captured these ideas in a hotel room with Sly and had all these elements that he kind of created around these melodies that Sly had come up with. Sal was reaching out to different people to get their input on it and to perform on it, different singers. The majority of lead vocals on this project are performed by Gervais. So this is kind of interesting what we did with Gervais voice. I took her original vocal and made a duplicate of it. Then I took the duplicate and added auto tune. The secret is they have to be at the exact same volume. Otherwise it doesn't quite create that, that sound that we were going for. Here goes the original vocal. And here it is with the effects. Then he said, I'm going to put together some sessions down in San Diego, and I'd like you to come down. I want to do it. And so I said, yeah, OK. Let's give it a roll. Some of the writing is actually quite modern, and you wouldn't necessarily know that because it fits so well in the context of what we were trying to achieve. And in this part, we added the hand claps. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Cornell West is a lifelong fan of Sly Stone. There was this sample where he was talking about Sly, and unfortunately, I just could not get it clear. People all the way up in the Bay Area recording stuff. We had to go to Boston for one session. Had to go to session. Boston for that session, yeah. Eventually, I was able to track down Cornell West. I got him on the phone, and he told me that if I came to Boston, that he would come into the studio and recreate his sample. We can just recreate that right now. Exactly. I, I didn't use the whole thing, though. I just wanted you right. to see it Absolutely. in context. Absolutely. Oh, no, because it, it's going to be a, just a short thing. How do they muster the courage to lift their voices in such a way that they can shape their destiny? Cornell West was recorded in Watertown, Massachusetts at Notable Productions. We don't want too many names, though. No, no, no. We don't want too many names. But we got to have a sister, I think. Do you, know, you agree with that? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like Louis Armstrong, like Tony Morrison, like Sly Stone. This other. That's me. You remember that? Yeah. I'm doing three notes at one time. The Eastlands is a throat technique. They, that's how they do all the time, three notes. Root, uh, fifth, and the octave. Isn't that like a tribal thing, right? Yeah. There's two types of people you work with in the studio. The ones that just come in and bang it out, it's good enough. And there's the ones that make really great records. Making great records is about the details and the extra 3%. One word to describe Sal. Determined. <laughs> Determination. Cool. I gotta hand it to him. It kind of takes that it's what we had in the beginning. For the longest time, I had this other ending on Destiny. Sly was playing this vocoder part, and he says to me, <laughs> Just tell me something, and I'll do something. You know, I know nothing. So I'll just do things, and then, you know. <laughs> but in the end, I felt like this was the better ending. More vibey. I don't like that. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> 